Hey guys, so I'm back with another video. Um, for some reason, YouTube decided to uh, show my video to more people. I mean, it's not like crazy amounts of people, but it's like uh, 100 people in like every three, four days or something like that. And then, of course, I start to get some uh, comments too. Uh, you know, like in the end of my video, I actually say that, you know, you can comment if you have any kind of question. And I'm not doing it for the YouTube algo. I literally want to help people. And one of the people who watched the video, uh, Andy. So this video is for you. Uh, Andy requested that I post my uh, workout basically during my transformation. So as you know by now probably, um, it's been quite a while since my transformation. Uh, I'm going to pull up a card here. Uh, so you can go and watch that video if you haven't. Um, how long has it been? Well, it's been like six, seven, eight months. Some, I, I don't know. Like, it's been, yeah, something like that. So uh, I haven't slacked, as you can see. Um, I'm still in shape. Uh, actually, yeah, well, actually, I, yeah, I got a better idea rather than, you know, flexing on camera. I'm just gonna show you a picture of mine. So uh, you can see that, but please note that it's a down lighting. Uh, on the picture that I've taken and it's after a pump. So uh, it's a little bit more complimentary to my physique uh, Currently just to give you an update. I am up to 175 76 pounds so uh, I've gained quite a bit of weight about like 15 pounds and um, I Think most of it was muscle. I mean, it's not hundred percent muscle. Obviously, there's a lot of water There's a lot of fat and there is muscle too, but I'm still relatively very lean uh, I feel extremely comfortable with this current weight in the body fat that I have. So I think it's a good weight for me. Uh, of course, I want to gain a little bit of more muscle, but it just, I don't know, like it's getting a little bit harder. I feel like I'm kind of like, you know, at my uh, limits, basically. My genetic limits, I mean. So uh, as for the workout... I don't want to keep this video 20 minutes long, so I will not be able to go through the whole thing in detail, but uh, here on my second screen, I have a second screen here, um, I have my workout. Uh, it's very messy though, it's not like something that <laughs> normal people can understand. So I'm going to go through and I'm probably going to do like some magic and like show it on the screen uh, in an understandable fashion. And what I'm gonna say is that basically I did push pull legs. I like those more. And normally I don't do push pull legs. I, I do like push legs pull or pull legs push, uh, usually like that. So you can play around with it. It doesn't matter. You don't have to do PPL, PLP, LPP. It doesn't matter, okay? It's the same thing uh, as long as you follow it. And um, let's talk more about the whole workout thing then. So as you know, uh, but if you haven't, go watch the video. Um, what happened with my transformation is that I wasn't able to go to the gym for like, I mean, not really wasn't able to, but it's just, I didn't go to the gym for seven years. And um, I went back at it. I wasn't able to start off with intense workouts. And if you are also in a similar situation or if you're just starting out, I also don't suggest you go at it full speed. I really don't recommend that. So for me, I think the most important thing is uh, making sure that you can consistently perform your best at the gym, okay? So consistency is very important. So um, when I first started, I started with literally the first week, my idea was like, uh, upper body, lower body, upper body, lower body, four times. Of course, I wasn't able to do that, but well. Uh, so I'm going to show you what I did for my upper and lower body exercises. Uh, well, obviously, I'm at home, so I'm not going to be able to actually show you the exercises. But I mean, you can Google them. If you actually have questions, uh, you can also comment. As I said, I'm not doing it for the YouTube algo. Uh, literally like whatever question you have and also it also motivates me a lot you know like this is the reason why I'm actually making this video so that's basically my uh, upper and lower body workout I did it for two weeks okay so this was only for two weeks I like to push myself 
So keep that in mind. So for example, if you're doing this workout specifically and after two weeks, you don't feel like you're able to step it up, do it one or two more weeks, it's okay. Completely fine, as long as you stick to it, you understand? So that's one of the keys. And after that, I started with my PPL. Uh, well, for me, uh, PLP basically. So I'm gonna write like the whole thing here. Uh, so, well, I'm gonna write the first push. Uh, so with the push, this is what I did basically. So uh, because it was also right at the beginning, I only did five exercises, okay? And uh, same actually went for both my legs and my pull exercises too. So for the legs, this is what I did. And for pull, this is what I did. All right. So uh, you can see my sets. In the very beginning, I actually performed only two sets per exercise. That was the first week. I'm a big believer in progressive overload. I talked about it in the past videos as well. Uh, so with this P PPL, after I switched to the PPL, I started with two sets per exercise. And then on the second week, I moved it up to three sets per exercise. And then on the third and fourth week and onwards, I kept it at four sets per exercise because I'm only performing five exercises per day, per workout day, okay? So, and that makes it six days a week, which is not the most suitable for most people, but I really like working out six days a week um, because it becomes more of a habit, if you know what I mean. So basically, like, I feel like I'm constantly working out. So if I actually skip a workout, first of all, if I skip a workout, it is not the biggest deal because I'm working out six times a week, okay? And the second thing is, I really don't want to miss a workout because it becomes such a habit in my life that I feel like it's one of the worst things I can do. So uh, that's why I like six days. But if you want to do it less, that's also completely fine. Um, what you can do is that you can basically increase the exercise amounts and reduce the days that you work out if your schedule is not um, okay with like, you know, working out six days a week. You might have, you know, family, maybe children even. So uh, you might consider doing that. And if you need help with that too, I mean, to, to get some basic idea or something, you can also comment below. Uh, I will also talk about it, maybe make another video. Uh, for people who don't have time to uh, work out six days a week, all right? So this is basically my uh, workout. And then currently what I'm doing is something else. I mean, I'm, it's still PPL, not the same exercise, basically. Uh, not the same combination of exercises. Um, I can also post that, I think. Uh, as for my progressive overload, basically, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share something else with you. Uh, I mean, I, I keep track of my every workout, okay? So when it comes to my progressive overload, basically, um, I don't just apply it for the amount of sets that I'm doing, but I also apply it for the weights and also the reps, okay? That's why I keep track of them, because when you work out six days a week, you know, you just cannot keep them all in your head, basically, at least I can't. Uh, if you can, well, uh, great for you. If you don't keep track, is it gonna be very significant? No but I enjoy it. It makes it more fun. Every time I go to the gym, I feel like I have a mission to complete, you understand? So it helps with the motivation aspect, basically. It gives it more of a joy. Uh, so personally, I enjoy that. If you don't like doing it, that's completely fine. But you know, like when we take our, you know, currently basically when you go to a gym, I believe that you most likely listen to music. So I always carry my phone with me anyways. So since I'm carrying it, you know, in the notes, I just, you know, uh, write like how much I lifted and how many reps I did. And also when you see like, if you're able to break what you did like the week before, it means that you're obviously uh, doing better and it keeps, you know, makes me feel better basically. All right. So uh, that's going to be it. Uh, like the video, uh, comment if you have any questions. As I said, I literally made a video for one of the comments, commentators. Uh, and also subscribe to the channel, all right? It really motivates me and I'm gonna continue doing a, a few more videos, I guess. All right, uh, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you on the next one.
believer in uh, videos and um, really uh, okay I'm a big believer in uh, <laughs> four sets what the f what's going on